Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kahila or Kay, and I'm with Monica. And we're just about to run some errands. So I was like, I'm not filming a vlog right now, but I might as well start. So yeah, we need to go and return a package because I ordered a planner for next year. Because next year is about to be great. I'm like, I need a planner. I always order planners and then I end up like not using it after like February or something like that. <sighs> And then I just use my phone. But I'm like, no, I want a planner. I want to write things down and not just like make my phone all cluttered and stuff. So we are, oh no, so I got the planner from Amazon. It was a beautiful planner and it was already written in. So I'm about to return it. I'm getting a new one today. Oh, that's sun. And then Malika's dropping off a package for an order that we received. And then we're going to Walmart because I need some ranch. I need some strawberry cream cheese because we're about to run out and all we have is regular cream cheese for the bagels. Absolutely not. You must be crazy. Okay. You're gross. You're gross. You're what? Gross. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry the sun is making me look all weird and stuff. And then, do we have anything else to do? I don't, I don't know. Um, Walmart, post office, return package. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah take you guys along this ride and I have my Sophie shawl with me in my <laughs> this lighting is so funny in my nice little bag from Sorella so let's get it What are we doing? Going home. Going home. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to work on my holiday slipover. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I have a video I'm filming <laughs> exact, like specifically for it, but I'll show you guys as well. And you guys probably know by now anyway, because that video will probably out. That holiday slipover takes no time. I'm like almost done with it and this is the second day I'm working on it. So yeah. Anyway, look at so weird. See you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna start the Louvre sweater today. I was gonna like have its own video, but I'm like, I might as well just do it in a little vlog. And I just finished filming for this holiday slipover video, which you guys probably saw already. So I'll just link it up there for you guys. And I'm gonna have Malika take pictures of me right now. And oh my gosh, when I tell you I love the slipover, I need to make another one, okay? I, I have to make another one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. But anyway, today is Louver Sweater Day. So excited for that. You guys don't know how long that's been on my list to knit. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm excited to show you the yarn because I got it from Kalila because she wasn't gonna use it. So yeah, good morning. And yeah, so let's take some pictures. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> so I just finished filming a voiceover for a reel that I had to film. That I decided to film. Oh, my door is locked. Thanks. And I had to go in my dad's truck because one, ah, our car is charging. So it's making this noise so I couldn't go in our car. And the other car is in the same garage. So I'm going to hear sound. So we have to go to our dad's truck, which is parked outside. And it's, my battery's dying. Oh my gosh. And it's perfect. So I film my voiceover now. Malika needs to film her voiceover. <laughs> and I'm going to be here for more of a support because it's funny. <laughs> I showed her mine and she's like, oh, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> so I'm here to witness it. Let's get it. And then I'm going to start on my Louvre. Okay. Let's go. Come with me. Do <laughs> you got this. <laughs> okay. Four. No, no, no. Okay, I gotta wipe my snot. Okay. Come with me. 
For a day in a life. For a day in a life. Okay. As a fiber artist, come yeah. with me for a day in a life as a fiber. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come with me to. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it too. <laughs> she did it, guys. She wow. did it. Look at the sweat. <laughs> Alone. What is Kalila working on? I'm working on a Monday sweater. Oh yeah. Right, let me put my hat down so it looks normal. <laughs> I, I put it up like this because it presses on my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm working on a Monday sweater. It's a Christmas present for our mother. I'll just the front. Does she know about it? Yeah, she knows I'm gonna make it for her but yeah. i don't think she knows i started <laughs> cute but it's using drops lima that looks by so itself. good no mohair or anything because you know she got sensitive skin so i was like no yeah. i'll use this i was gonna use it for a, mo- a mohair i'm gonna start it for myself but i was like you know i guess i'll be nice i'll also use my uh lick the cypra needles the copper ones yeah. bro when i tell you I am knitting. I'm flying with my knitting, bro, because these You literally just... said this like two days ago. Huh? For real? It seems like it. Probably. Bro, it's just like <clears throat> so smooth and then the yarn is so soft. 100% recommend if you want some DK weight yarn that is good. Nice price. Drops Lima. It's 65% alpaca, 35%. Does that equal 100%? 35% alpaca. 10. Carried one. 10. Uh, yep, 100. Okay. 65% wool. No. 65%. Yes. I forget. Hold on. <laughs> it's literally right here. <sighs> okay. 65% wool, 35% alpaca. Bro. So she was right. Beautiful. And the fingering weight equivalent of that composition is drops flora. flora. Yeah. And the thicker equivalent, like an iron weight, is drops Nord? Ne- Nepal? Nepal. Probably know. Nepal. Either Nepal or Nord. Look at one of those, and if it says 65% wool, 35% alpaca, that's the one. All right. You know what's crazy? So I'm literally watching Whitney's video, Knitted mm-hmm. by Whitney, and she was talking about getting drops Lima for her project, for her, her eclair. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was going to get Drops Lima for the Moby sweater. I was going to get Drops Lima and probably Knitting for Olive like to pair it together because it's a DK and a mohair yeah. together. For the Moby? Yeah. Oh, no. But then I ended up getting the Filcolana. Oh, I got a Knitting for Olive me. Heavy Merino oh, and mohair. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm about to start the Louvre. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to I see know. that, bro. That's gonna look I saw Alexandra's so um, good, my her, so uh, good. So good. I saw Alexandra's uh oh, hold on, my toes hurt. I saw Alexandra's Louvre because I was stalking her Instagram just going through her old pictures and mm. then I saw it and I was like mm, my ears hurt. That has to be next. So it is next indeed. Nice. You know, you need a plain stockinette in your life. Exactly. You know? I was like, I'm gonna do the Monday. I'm like, you know what? Let's do a true DK weight sweater. I already got the yarn. Heck which yeah. I'll show you guys in a little bit. You haven't which seen Which I yet. gave it to her. I told them that. Yeah. 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 Just making sure I'm going to get her props on. Oh, no, oh. y'all. <laughs> what okay, <the> bye. <laughs> All right, guys. We are back in the room. Louvre sweater. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so exciting. <laughs> okay, so let's show you the yarn that I'm using for this project. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Got it. Lemonade Izzy. Oh, so good. So it's in my giant petite knit bag. <laughs> okay, like this is huge. I love it. I don't know if you guys saw my podcast where I was talking about this, but I didn't expect this to be this big. Like, I know it's a grande, but I didn't know it meant ginormous, okay? Like, look at this. Yeah. Anyway, I have my yarn in here. Is it just this yarn in here? Because dang, this thing is filled. I think I have 14 balls of this yarn, but Kalila got this yarn. I forgot why she got the yarn. Maybe she was going to make the Louvre? I don't remember. 
but she had this yarn Pure Gint by Sadness Gone and it is 100% wool Norse wool Norwegian wool there we go 100% Norwegian wool and it's a DK weight it is 91 meters per 50 grams and it is so so soft okay and I was gonna use my Takumi Clover bamboo needles but then I was like I feel like hearing a clickety clackety clack clack of metal needles and I haven't used my metal needles in so long like I've, I've just been using my Licka needles and then my Takumi Clover needles which oh my gosh those are my favorite needles ever like I thought my Licka needles would be my favorite the driftwood it's beautiful but those bamboo needles oh my gosh so good Anyway, so we're going back to the beginning. My first pair, my first pair, my first set of needles. Well, my first set of real needles to me, interchangeable real needles. It is my Knit Picks. I don't know what kind of needles these are called, but it's my metal needles. And they're so, so good for the shorties because, you know, I'm going to need some shorties. I'm going to use my Knit Picks shorties right here boom and this is for the 16 inch so this pattern calls for four millimeter needles and 3.5s when do I use 3.5 in the beginning I'm pretty sure let's see 3.5 yes so we are going to start off with 3.5 millimeter needles, which are these tiny boys right here, which is not clearing up, so oh well. And then we'll switch over to my 4 millimeter and my metal needles, which I'm so excited for. So yeah, I needed a stockinette project that was a sweater that's just chill. Like, oh, I needed that. So which one's 4 millimeter? This is 3.75, which I didn't know that I had. And these are my fours. Ah, oh. sorry if you don't like that sound, but I love that sound. I love the sound of metal needles. It's so good. Yeah, these are my four millimeter metal needles. So I'm going to use these after, but we're going to start off with 3.5. And okay, I guess I can have you guys see what it really looks like. Boom, these are so pretty. Knit picks. So yeah, let's get it. I think that's it, I'm so excited. I'm gonna knit on the medium, the medium sweater because medium is just always good for me. It either comes out true to size or a little oversized. A lot, most of the time it's a little oversized. So that's what I'm going for. As you guys know, probably know, if you know me and watch this channel, I do not do any swatches, I do not care how my sweater turns out. I mostly knit for the yarn and if the project comes out awesome where I can wear it, perfect. If it doesn't, oh well, that's life. <laughs> that's fine. I'll do another one in another type of yarn, but yeah. Anyway, I think that is all I have for you guys. Of course, I will update you guys as I continue to knit. This is gonna be my first black sweater. And I think my first time knitting with black yarn in general. Yeah, I knitted with some like dark gray yarn, but that doesn't count, it wasn't black. But this is my first time knitting with black yarn. And a lot of people say black yarn, mm -mm, don't knit with it, you can't see the stitches, it's so annoying, but listen. I can get through this because I knitted with boucle yarn, okay? And if you are a person that knitted with boucle yarn, you know. Forget seeing your stitches like as the project works up. Forget seeing the fabric. You cannot see the stitches on your needles, period, for like the first three rows or three rounds, depending on the project that you're working on. So I think I'll be fine with black yarn, yeah. So I think that's it. Let's get it.
hello guys it is raining and it is almost 8 a.m and it's dark Let's see okay. boom and we are gonna get our nails done in like an hour so i just decided to come chill down here in the living room and maybe hijack the television while i knit on my lubra I haven't given you guys like a verbal update, so let's do that now. Don't mind my stitches, I'm squishing them on my cables as usual, but let me try to get a good, oh here we go. This is what it looks like, and you guys can barely see it because it's black and I'm wearing black, and black is just so hard to see, but this is my progress, this is the back. A black sweater you guys yes but it's fine I haven't had any problems so far like I said I knit it with blue clay yarn so I'm I'm good anyway I am doing the yoke right now and yeah I'm not almost done I have so much more to go I mean obviously but yeah my goal is to finish like the first First half is going to be more than half of the yoke, but the majority of the yoke today. And then, I mean, ideal splitting for sleeves, but realistically, I'll be fine with finishing most of the yoke today. So, yeah, that'll be great. That'll be fun. That'll be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to chill here. I'm going to go get my nails done. It's going to be basically just like this, but with red tips. And yeah. So I'll see you guys. Guys, we are on the way. Kalila is finally here with us. Oh finally. my gosh, it's <laughs> us three. Yeah. What? Kalila out the house? I really yeah. need to get my camera. Oh, uh, you shit. forgot it? Yeah. I'm the only true vlogger you here, guys. It? You want yours, Kalila? No. Uh, I don't Malika's about to yeah. turn around. Kalila cared, then I would care, but she don't care, I don't care. Anyway, yeah, we are about to get our nails in, so it's going to be red instead of like burgundy. Even though this was supposed to be brown and it looked browner when I picked it out and then it was like oh, burgundy, I was like, mm, that's fine, I'll work with it, that's cute. So yeah, it's going to be red for the holidays. Anyway, yeah, it's raining, so... I will enjoy this beautiful weather. Thank you, brother. It literally only rains here in the winter and spring, spring for like a few days and then boom, that's it. Yeah. Okay, anyway, ta da! Ta da! Hey guys, so my nails are supposed to be red, but they're like pink ish. I don't know, this camera ish. is. This yeah. camera is not picking up picking it up well but literally the color was a burnt orange red on the little nail thingy and then <laughs> when he put it on my nails it was like a bright orange and i was like you know what he was doing such a great job i'm just like do what you gotta do okay and then after it dried it turned pink <laughs> so it's like a a cute little pink or whatever and i told her get Get no, she color? said, like I said you, you want to get color? the same color? I was yeah. like, no, because I saw this like burnt orange red. I was like, oh, that's cute. But I don't yeah. care anyway. Like, it's just nails. Like, yeah, I literally get my nails done just to get yeah. them done and just to be presentable. Yeah. So I don't have to do my own. And then after these grow out and stuff like that, I'm going to try and have my real nails out and grow those. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, we're at McDonald's right now and we're going to get something to eat and then. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go honk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut <Anyway>. up! <laughs> Malika, you got your nails done? Yes. Black. Basic. It's great though. Black is awesome. Okay, bye. bye. Good morning, guys. It is a day because I don't. These vlogs are always so random for me. Anyway, this is my fit for today. Let me. Oopsies. Let me show you guys the full fit. It's crooked. Okay. I 
don't have any shoes on, but I'll be wearing boots. Anyway, this is my Cargill sweater. That looks so good. Stop it. Stop it. Hold the applause. Hey, mommy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. Sorry. You're fine. You look so preppy. Thanks. You made that sweater? Mm hmm. That cool, is huh? Amazing. All right, guys. So, we're going out today. And you're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> then I decided to get a little, you know, dressed up because I don't go out. So, if I'm going to go out, I might as well just make it a whole day, be cute. Make some content. Honestly, I can make some reels and stuff. I've been obsessed with reels and it's been great, okay? It's been great. If you have Instagram, listen, they're pushing reels. Take advantage of it. Your page will grow. We can attest to that. Especially Malika. <laughs> Especially Malika. Anyway, yeah. So I'm excited. I have like, I can film a bunch of reels today because I have, well, some of them I need my knit projects for, but I was like out of the shower this morning and then I was just like, let me just come up with some ideas. I had like seven already and then I came up with a few more. So now I have 12 ideas for reels let me get them. with sounds attached to it. Oh, no, yeah. Malika's always trying to steal my ideas. Yeah, <laughs> it's so great. But yeah. Okay, I can film this one. I can film that one. I can film that one. Okay, I can film at least three so far. I can film this one. Mm, I can film that one. I can film a bunch of stuff, so I think I'm going to do that. Starting right now, actually, I can do that. But anyway, I have my humongous petite knit bag. I have everything in here. My wallet, my AirPods, my... Row counter, lip gloss. So I am halfway through the first half of the yoke. The second half of the yoke won't take that long, but I need to get through. Like, I am halfway through the first, did I say that? Halfway through the first half of the yoke. I don't know if that makes sense, but I can't really tell you guys what I'm doing because it's paid for a pattern. Anyway. Still looks like this. I swear I've made progress. It's just I'm scrunching my stitches on these needles and cables. Because then when I split for sleeves, it'll be better. But yeah, it's been so much fun working on this black sweater because I'm like, oh, <gasps> I'm thinking of the end result and it's going to be so good. I can't wait to block this too. That's going to be fun. Anyway, yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. And because I have some time, I will start filming some reels absolutely okay see you guys later bye <laughs>Hey guys, so we're currently <laughs> no dang it. So <laughs> while I was sitting inside, we've done a bunch of stuff already. But while I was at home, I didn't update you guys. I filmed three reels while I was there, and you know, scratched them off my list. And then while we were on the road, I came up with like six more reel ideas with the sound. So now I have like 21 reel ideas that I can just film like that. So it'll be fun to have a real filming day and it's so crazy how many times it takes to film a single reel especially when you have to like how do you say this mouth the words how do you how do you there's a specific word for it 
Lip sync. Lip sync, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. That that's oh so challenging sometimes. But it's fun. And yeah, these reels are fun. My goal is to post a reel every single day next year. Every single Our goal. day. Malika's copying me. She's stealing my sounds. She's stealing your content. My content, yeah. That's okay though. We can share. I'm nice. Anyway, yeah, that's my goal. And I'll have a goals video for you guys at the end of this year. So that's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be challenging, but it's gonna be so great. I'm excited. Anyway, I'm doing some knitting, as you guys can see. And <laughs> 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 and yeah i'll see you guys <laughs> guys i'm back home i actually got a lot of knitting done on my i was gonna say slipover because i'm thinking about making a holiday themed holiday slipover <laughs> i'm actually gonna start that like on the 18th today's the 13th but or no, I'll just wait until I split for sleeves on my Louvre. Unless it's too close to the holidays, then I'll just stop it and then do the holiday slipover. Yeah. Anyway, I'm home. I'm going to work more on this Louvre. And chill. Get something to eat. Relax. Watch some vlogmas that I've been catching up on. And <laughs> I'm like, it's already in her pajamas. <laughs> I'm like, we just came home. And I'm like... She's already in her pajamas. I have matching ones, literally, like, right there. So. Match me. Match you? Okay. I'll match her. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. I did it. And so did Kalila. <laughs> <laughs> I was already doing it before she was doing it, okay? <laughs> we look alike. <laughs> hey, guys. I probably wearing this sweatshirt. I, listen, I go back and forth through all of my sweatshirts wearing them, so you have seen this sweatshirt many times. <laughs> today is going to be a heavy content creation day also knitting and writing but all of that I literally turn into content so content creation day I have this video that I need to edit this vlog I need to edit and post it today okay. today my goal is to have it up by 12 but if not I don't care what time I'm done with it. I'm going to post it at any time today. And then I have another video that's for next week that's already filmed, edited, finished. I don't know if I want to edit it today, but if I have time, then I will. And then I have to do a bunch of like writing and filming for my writing channel and stuff like that. So yeah, that's like two videos for that as well. And then I want to film like at least five reels today. I don't know if I'll get to the reels part today because I already have like 13 in drafts that are finished. And then it's like 23, <laughs> 22 or 23 ideas so are already written out. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just chilling. I have a bubbly that's with right. me. No, it's not. I have... Blueberry bagels with strawberry cream cheese. <laughs> Don't be a hater. And yeah. So let's get it. update you guys I look weird because <laughs> my neck was curled so I put my hood up I don't know if you guys can see this I don't even know if you guys can hear me but I put my hood up a little bit so then my hair can like fall in front of my face like this and now it's on my lip and yeah I'm warm so anyway I posted my video at like 12 15 or something like that it's currently 12 41 so I was right on time, basically, which was surprising. The video was 39 minutes long and I rewatched it and everything and was still able to get it up by 12. So 
accomplished that. I'm currently knitting right now and watching some knit podcasts. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that for a little while. I'm gonna do some writing later in a day. I don't know if I'll, I don't feel like filming reels right now. So I'll do that later today as well. Like deep in the afternoon, maybe like two o'clock or something. We'll see, but I really wanna get through these increase rounds. Increase? Yeah, these increase rounds in the yolk so I can finish the yolk. If I could split for sleeves today, oh, that would be so amazing. But we'll see, we'll see, yeah. Okay, toodles. Ah! Again, again, I literally just edited a video where I did the same thing. Good. Anyways, job. hopefully this doesn't fall while I'm buckling up. But guys, we're going to Michael's and Walmart and update on my louver sweater. I finished the first half of increases, hallelujah. So I just have like 16 rounds to go and then I will split four sleeves. When I split four sleeves, it's a wrap. I'm so excited because it looks like it's gonna be nice and oversized, like I like it. That's my mom and that's Malika. And yeah, I decided not to get cute. Okay, I'm wearing my terrazzo sweater. I mean, There's I'm cute, I'm cute. I'm cute without, you know, anything on, but you know. That's what we call it. Anyway, toodles. Cause you know it takes you, it takes you back. Tell me do you love me so I'm gone. Guys. Damn it! <laughs> well, was trying to film before me. But I have some bad news. I snapped my cable. I had too many stitches on it. I'm sad. I saved my stitches though. I was like, if it's one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save those stitches. Cause I am not trying to go, and I don't have like my, my tool kit or anything, my notions kit, whatever. So if my stitches fell, I would literally have to just watch it until I got home. But luckily I saved it. So now we're just gonna, we're at Michael's right now, so we're gonna go to Michael's, do our thing, and then I wanna get home ASAP so I can change the cable to my 40 inch cable instead of, I just, uh, I just like stretching it on my 32 inch, whatever this is, because then when I split for sleeves, it's fine, you know? But lesson learned, I guess. We'll see. Now I need a new liquor cable. This is for my liquor needles. Ugh. Anyway, let's go. <sighs> okay, I'm back home. I got yarn for a couple slipovers. Just because I, I'm i going to be in my slipover era next year, okay? So, I made that first big slipover. I'm like, oh, I need to make another one. So, the holiday slipover, I'm going to be making a lot of them. Absolutely. Anyway, I have my Lika set. I'm so sad that that's my 30-inch cable. That's so nice. Anyway, now I need to use my longest cable. and figure out a way to get my stitches off of that cable. So, like without my stitches dropping and stuff. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I could have gotten so much done on the road. Okay, all right, so let's slowly get it out. Okay, while well we assess the damage. Ah, where'd it go? Oh god, come back, come back, come back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Phew! Okay, okay, okay. This is... <laughs> Look at this! What's that? Oh no! Oh god, oh god, hold on. This is gonna be hard, bro. I hate that. I'm scared. For me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared for me. <sighs> like, all I need to do is just slip it on. Yeah, I'm like, why don't you slip it on? Doesn't... I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just need to 
Instead of like trying to knit it on yeah. another cable, I'm just gonna slip it. Slip it on. And I can start with this way first. You can like connect that white thing and slip it on there. What white thing? The white needle slippers thing in between here. Yeah, but then it's gonna go on that and then I'm gonna have to transfer that to this and I can just do that. Like, look at this, this is broken. <laughs> wow, that's not worse for you, bro. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh God, oh God. I did it, guys. I did it. I got it on my 40 inch cable. RIP to my Licka 32s. And it's crazy how like, this is still like kind of scrunched on here as well, but you can kind of see it a little better. Anyway, I'm almost done with this yoke and then I'll split for sleeves. Ah, my battery's dying. Okay, see you guys. I split for sleeves. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh. Once, once you split for sleeves, you're good to go. Like, it's like, let's get it. Okay. It's, mm, I feel like the sweater is going to be done like this, but let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like, okay? Let's, let's hold it up against this white background. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Like, I am so, it's so hard to see because it's black. Like, ugh. But this is so big and so wide. I don't think you guys can see like how big it really is. But I am so excited because this is what I wanted. Like, especially out of this sweater. Like, I don't know. Some of you guys might not know. But my size when it comes to patterns is an extra small. But I always knit up the mediums because, one, I don't gauge swatch. So if my gauge is, like, tighter, like it usually is, then it will give me a nice true to size fit basically because of my gauge and then sometimes depending on a pattern my gauge will be the same or maybe even looser and I'll get a bigger size which is what I'm always aiming for so medium is just always perfect for me because I get a true to size or I get an oversize and I'm happy either way and with patterns like this I get an oversized fit doing a medium and this oh my gosh it already looks so roomy the sleeves are so big and nice and oh i have like cat hair and stuff on it so it's black expect it but i'm so excited like i'm going to wear this sweater out like oh my gosh but yeah i'm almost done with this ball of yarn this has been this is the fifth ball of yarn out of like the 14 I think I have. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm excited. It's time to continue and just mindlessly knit. Come in here. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Hey guys. Oh, I need to put my lip gloss on. All right. So I come with you. I come with you. I come to you with an update. So I have reached the ribbing of the body. I'm so excited. Like this sweater. I already know it's gonna be my favorite sweater. Like. Hands down, guaranteed. I need to get some yogurt. I'm hungry, but I'm going. Uh, I'm going out with my sister and my dad, Malika, and my dad, and we're just going to. What is that stuff? Oh, I think my dad is doing something. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go out, take care of some business, and then come back home. Literally, that's it. But I have my giant petite knit bag where my sweater is located and yeah I have everything I need for this sweater I don't need 
honestly don't need anything, which is why I'm glad I reached the ribbing before we go out. So now I just know all I have to do is one by one rip. Okay, so I'm very excited for that. And hopefully I can finish the ribbing today. That will be so great. Oh my gosh, that will be awesome. Do I have anything else to do really? I posted a video today. It is currently Wednesday. I want this video to go up Saturday. So I have some time to finish the ribbing, the body period, by the time I post this video. So hopefully it's today and I can get started on the sleeves. But if not, as long as I finish the body by Saturday, which I should be done with this body by tomorrow, if anything. Hey, Onyx. And yeah, I really don't have anything else to do. Yeah, I just have to film for my writing channel, which is later tonight and that shouldn't stop me yeah i'm excited <sighs> update you guys on anything else if i have anything else to tell you but let's go on this trip i forgot to tell you guys what i'm wearing i'm wearing kalila's it's not a sweatshirt by knitting for olive and at first for the longest she did not like this sweater and she gave it to me to have but then I convinced her to like wear it a few more times because she will end up loving it and I was right of course and now she loves it the fit is really nice it's like I don't know if you guys can see anyway yeah just wanted to come and tell you guys that okay now goodbye guys now understand uh now I understand what Kalila was talking about when she was telling me, like, knitting with black yarn. Yeah, it's fine. You can see your stitches and stuff. Oh! I was like, who are you talking to? <laughs> My camera. It's a nice little spot. Yeah. But she was telling me that the stuff that gets on it sticks. And I don't know if you guys can see, but... First of all, look at this. Can you guys see so much cat fur? Oh, look at that. Oh, Ooh, and you can see the unevenness. Don't worry about that. It's okay. Oh, that's that's disgusting. But that's okay. We'll get a, a lint roller or something. But yeah, I'm going to start the ribbing now. It's a new day. I am starting on the sleeve and I'm gonna film all of today, which is not gonna be much knitting on a sleeve, and then I'll end out this video tonight and then show you the progress that I have on the sleeve, which is hopefully a lot. If not, that's okay. I gave myself two days plus an extra day if I need it, so two to three days to knit on one sleeve to finish it. So I'm good. And yeah, because I need to post this video on Saturday. Yeah, today's Friday, so I need to post it tomorrow. But I want to knit on a sleeve and show you guys the little progress that I do get. And yeah, <laughs> this is so exciting, guys. <sighs> guys, I've changed my mind, okay? So I was going to post a video today. And like this video, this video, I was going to post this video today. Today's Saturday. And I was just like... I don't need to post a video today. I posted a video two days ago and I can literally like the timeline that I have for myself. I can try my best to finish the sweater and then just post it next week. So I currently have it scheduled to be posted on Wednesday instead of Saturday because there is no rush. I can literally finish the sweater 
in this video. And this video was supposed to be like a vlog. <laughs> I mean, it still has other, I think it still has a, other things in it that aren't about this sweater. But this video is mostly about the sweater, which is fine with me. So yeah, this is, did I show you guys what I have so far? No, I didn't. I mean, down real quick. Uh, I'm wearing black and I'm gonna try and show you a black sweater. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right, let's try. Let's see. This is what I have of the sleeve so far. That's what I've done. So as you can tell, I'm close to being done. Okay, kind of. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Can you guys see that? Yeah, anyway. Lift this up. So yeah, I'm gonna try and finish this sweater by the time this video ends. Gosh, there's just so much on this black sweatshirt. That's how it's gonna be with this sweater, but that's okay. I'm so excited for next year, guys. Uh, I'm so excited to tell you guys my plans. I can't wait to film that video. I am going to come out with the did I achieve my 2022 goals at the end of this month and post it for you guys to see probably a day before New Year's Eve so New Year's Eve Eve because <laughs> right now it's Christmas Eve oh my gosh yeah hi it's Christmas Eve I keep forgetting it's a holiday like it's the holiday season tomorrow's Christmas Wee. and yeah Next year is going to be so much fun, so chaotic, so much going to be going on, but it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a nice little ride. Like I said, I can't wait to film my goals video, 2023 goals. Anyway, is that it? I think so. Okay, let's get it. Oh, the sun is sunning. We're going to the park and we're just talking about how it's currently... 70 degrees the high is 79 and there are literal planes grounded because of snowstorms and in california it's just like it's summer right now yeah anyway malika can't see me am i blurry no i'm about to cross the street give me a second <laughs> anyway malika is going to take some pictures for the sweater she just finished and yeah, we're tagging along. So I got I got some knitting done. I am 30 rows away from finishing a sleeve. Uh, well, away from reaching the ribbing. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Currently sitting with Kalila. Hello. You guys like the way my hat is? <laughs> New style. So weird. And Malika forgot her bag that she needs to take pictures with so she just went back to the house real quick to get it and we're waiting for her so we can continue our walk to wherever she wants to take pictures and yeah I like filming outside it's just like I don't know I feel like a real vlogger when I'm outside plus I haven't been outside in a while it feels like so yeah Oh, cute. <laughs> You're so ugly. Christmas guys I didn't film it but my family and I we just finished taking pictures this is a top that Malika and my mom made and I'll show you guys better pictures of it here and I'll show you guys the pictures that we also took together as a family <sighs> now I'm ready to get out of this because oh uh, dressing up uh, I'm not a fan it's time to get back into my sweats I did I show you guys that I finished the sleeve last night? I don't know, but I finished the sleeve last night. 
I I think I talked about it, so I'm not gonna talk about it again. And if I didn't, I'll talk about it at the end of this video, so whatever. But yeah, so I'm on a second sleeve. It took me two days to do the first sleeve. I'm hoping it only takes me two days as well to finish the second sleeve, but I will give myself an extra day if I need because I am ahead of schedule. So I'm glad about that. I'm gonna eat some lunch, knit on this sleeve, get out of this, like I said, even though it's really cute. I already took my pictures though, so that's all good. And yeah, then relax on this Christmas day. <gasps> we need to open up the gift Alexandra got us. Okay, hold on. Mm. Hey. I just saw hey. you guys and I was in my shirt and now I'm not. fix this. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> and Khalil's filming as well. I'm like, it's not. Anyway, here is the gift. And we're gonna open it. So let yeah. me... Oh. All right, here we go. That's not the side. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Isn't it tape? Did you open it? Yeah. Oh. It literally says open here and this girl. <laughs> hey, oh. boy. Hold on. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Okay, now you can show it. Oh, they can see. This is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, her handwriting is so great. It says, "Gold, gul on scar." Isn't it Jewel? Jewel on scar. Alexandra. Merry Christmas to Malika, Kahila, Kalila. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. And I'm sorry, Alexandra. I know we're supposed to be Swedish, and I butchered that. But you know what? We'll be back in Sweden so I Gold can learn. Jewel. Good job! Open it. Wait. This is cute. Oh, I'm supposed to be showing y'all. My bad. Yeah, I'm like, who is she? Horrible videographer. Look at that. So That's because yeah. she hasn't uh, filmed in so long. <laughs> her hand behind it and her hand couldn't even be seen. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. And here is JB. Pretty. And let's open it. This is just so awesome. Hurry up. Don't rush me. This is wrapped beautifully. Okay. Here we go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know, I'm just showing Kayla since she's taking over the show, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Remember when uh, she gave us books? Yep. Yes. That was cute. Okay. together for from our trip i hope you enjoy it and thank you for all the memories love alexandra if you guys it watch our vlogs so you would know weird. you guys uh, comment to like the unplanned meanwhile i'm sweet and freaking out didn't know you were right back one day probably <laughs> yeah we yeah. forgot to tell her we we were trying to book the flight for like what the 10th and the it's night. just the 10th no, it was the, the It was the it, it was, was the ninth. ninth because it oh, was yeah. the okay. and, and we couldn't. Get we it. couldn't. So we were just like, okay, we're just gonna book a flight early. Yeah. But then we forgot to tell Alexandra. So then when we're on the flight and we're telling Ew! her, Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> All right. Oh my god! <laughs> Ew! Oh my gosh! You look like you're thirteen. <laughs> Our brother has oh. shaved his beard for the first time since he started growing at growing it out, his facial hair, and now he looks like he's 13 he again. So young. He's 20. <laughs> Not anymore. 
<laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go through the scrapbook and then I'll come back to you guys and just like explain it all and maybe show you guys. I don't know. But it's so sweet. <sighs> guys, this is the best gift. <laughs> oh my gosh, we showed our dad and he was like, this is amazing. Oh my God. Okay, he didn't say amazing, but basically amazing. Cause I know he's gonna watch this and be like, did I say amazing now? Yes. Okay, but this is so cute. Some of these, I'm like, when did she even take these pictures? Like where, what, what? This is just so great. Like, ah! we're like, how does she remember all of this? I mean, of course we remember it too, but it's still like funny, like, <laughs> How do you remember we went here and there? This is so nice. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I remember taking this picture. This is on our chill day. And we're like, let's start the Chunky Dahlia. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny because I literally vlogged everything. So it's cool seeing them in stills. These pictures. <laughs> oh my god, this was so funny. Oh my gosh. Alexander, you are hilarious. <laughs> this cake was good. Like it it was a weird texture that I'm not used to, but I'm thinking about how it tasted and I want some more now. Tears. Oh this is so good. We watched Pride and Prejudice for the first time. It was good. Still have some questions about the ending. Didn't care for the ending. But other than that, it was pretty, it, it was pretty good. Okay. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alexandra, when the heck? Wait, you're in the picture. You didn't take this. Who took this picture? Kalila? I don't remember this picture being taken, but I remember taking this one because you guys were always together like, oh yeah, we should get this young. Mm. <gasps> that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. When was this picture taken? I don't remember that. I remember these two. I just don't remember me. But either way, this is so great. This is like my fourth time going through all of this, by the way, guys. And look at us, our chunky Dahlia that we started. We learned charts together. And lace. Ah, this is so great. Sorry the light keeps going in and out, but. We took a lot of pictures. This is so good. Oh, that shrimp box. Oh, I need some right now because that was, that was great. Our last day. One last time. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Look at us. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm. I'm so glad we took a bajillion pictures. Like, this is amazing. Oh, we look so cozy here. Oh, your house is beautiful. We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> ah. You guys, look. Look at us. And our terrazzos. So great. Of course, I have to be the colorful one. The one that stands out. <laughs> oh, this is so... I've never had a scrapbook before or, or, like, created one before. Like, this is... This is so amazing. Like, what? This means so much. Oh, look at our fat mohair. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we actually got that fat mohair. That was, 
those cards are. And then she has all the places that we went and all the yarn shops that we went to. Like, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> this was, oh, okay, it's good. This was the funniest page, this picture, because <laughs> I don't remember if we captured it in our vlogs or not, but Alexandra thought Lynn Manuel's name was Lil Manuel. <laughs> Miranda! We had a nice little laugh about that. And so now she has a picture of Lil Manuel. Literally, if someone saw that, they'd be like, okay, but listen. We have so many insiders from this trip, like inside jokes. Ah, I'm gonna cherish this forever. We should have a, a scrapbook for like every trip that we see each other. That would be so great. That would be really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. Now it's time to knit. Put this in a nice little place. And oh, I'm so happy. This made my day. Oh, wait, I think I'm going to play Fortnite with my siblings. Is it done downloading? Malika, Kalila, and Joey are going to play Fortnite, and Joey's like, come on, you can play with us. Do you want to play with us? You can, uh, you can, uh, download it on your other computer. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I will. Best gift ever. Best gift ever. It's so crazy as adults how what we want as gifts change. Because imagine, well, I'm, I can be sentimental, so if I got this when I was younger, that would be fine. But it's crazy how, like, for the most part, if a child got a scrapbook of memories, they'd be like, okay, where's my game? Hmm? Where is my technology? Like, why are you giving me a scrapbook? But as adults, we cherish these things. And it's amazing. Anyway, all right, enough sentimental. I think it's ready. Okay, see you guys. Guys, I have finished the sweater. Not that I, I don't know if you guys can see it because of this background. The TV's black, but here it is. Except, <laughs> can you guys see the sleeve difference? Look at this, and then look at this. Yeah, don't ask me what happened because I don't know. And I honestly don't care. This sleeve is mahusive. This one is normal. See, see how this is like that and that's like that. I think I picked up more stitches on this one than this one, but honestly, I do not care. I'm not ripping back. As you guys know, I do not frog if I am significantly into the sweater. Like from the beginning, I can frog do whatever, but something like this, absolutely not. And plus, I don't care, and it's black, and I don't care. I like to keep my mistakes in because it reminds me that I hand knitted this, and it's not perfect, and it's just like, <laughs> we're just going to have to deal with it because it still looks good. Ooh, it's still going to be one of my most worn sweaters, so yeah. And I will gladly be like, look at this. 
It's bigger than this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I miscalculated, whatever. I still love this sweater. I'm gonna block it, but I'm not gonna show the process of blocking it because we know what blocking is like, guys, okay? And if you wanna see what it looks like when it's blocked, just go to my Instagram and follow me there and see the pictures, but uh, my knees. Oh, my knees are tired. Anyway, I had a great time knitting this. Oh, it's December 26th right now, you guys. I finished the sweater two days early. Yeah, two days before my official deadline and five days before the new year. So I'm so happy Oops, because now I only have my Sophie shawl as a project started in... 2022 going into 2023 so now I can start on my new project I'm so excited I'm actually whoa I'm gonna start winding up that yarn right now and probably start on a new project tonight what's wrong with me I just can't take breaks I love I love knitting I love knitting so much anyway yeah this is the looper sweater beautiful and done and not perfect and it's amazing so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you worked on while watching this video. And also let me know if you've knitted the looper sweater. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever I post another video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, especially if you want to see anything dealing with yarn and my projects. And I'll see you guys in the next one.